Do I have everything set? Names. Yep, we're in the right spot. Welcome! It is party time! Yes, we, we are the food gonna... scientists getting ready to record episode 146! Woohoo! That's good. I had to look at my screen and, and count the numbers. Oh, I'm yeah. Terrible without, at that. Without seeing it, I would have no idea. Like, you yeah. know, back in the day when we didn't have these little cheat sheets in front of us and I had no idea. Yeah, I'd None. be like 72 maybe? I don't know. Yeah, and now you <laughs> now you act like you've known all along. You know what <laughs> I know? Think, I think over you know, at I episode know? 500 because, you know... It seems a lot longer with you guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. You know what? Speak. You know what? This is going to be a really long day for us because everything is terrible to someone. It'll be a long day, but hopefully over quickly because we'll eat it, say it's gross, and move on. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. We're happy Sunday. Happy birthday, Taylor Swift, 31. Her lucky number backwards. Been listening to Evermore all week. Uh, anyway, hot chili squid chips. Oh. In that and we have hot chili. Squid. Wait, yeah, we so this morning, so I forgot to like get my beverage and just you know. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's hot chili squid, grilled squid, and chili. So we could have the the squid, the chili, and then the squid and the chili, all in potato chips from Lay's from around the world, and the new M and M's. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You know what? That sounds fishy to me. That's you my know what, Brian? <laughs> you you <laughs> look like a man. <laughs> With your beach background, you look like a man who is about to have international lays. Oh, I might. Yeah, that that's yeah. Gonna it's gonna be an international lay day for you. Yeah, I'm picking weird. up good <laughs> vibrations. Yeah, I bet. I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay I'm for Amy. We have something with coffee. Yes. And we know you both love mint, so we have the candy cane. Especially and, peppermint. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this the is the white chocolate peppermint M and M's and the candy cane Hershey kisses. Yeah, this is not the episode to make the season bright, but you know what? We'll we'll you know try what? It anyway. Not everybody loves the holiday season. Twenty twenty's you know been this goes twenty twenty's been a long year. Yeah, <laughs> this is like everything's coming to a head. And in the news, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get oh, to yeah. that too. We'll, we'll Should we do we'll a podcast? There. Yeah, let's we'll do get a to that. Yeah. So let's uh pause. Pause up. Oh, my pause didn't. Oh, one disappeared. <laughs> this is the Food Scientist Podcast. I am your host, Amy Zajac. I am here with Brian Pierce. Well, hello, everyone. And Danny Sussman. Happy birthday, Taylor Swift. I mean, hello. Sorry, I was just talking to my favorite listener. At least I hope she's listening. <laughs> yeah, she's a big fan of ours. Um, anyway. I, I, Danny, this isn't coming out the same day we record it, so it's not her birth anymore. She's going to think you're a huge jerk. I don't know if you know this, Brian, but we do the podcast live on YouTube every week, and you can watch us record live, and today we're recording <gasps> live on Taylor Swift's birthday. What? So if we're just in your ears and you want to see us with your eyes, too, uh, you can. You don't have to, but that's available. <laughs> Instead of just seeing us with your ears. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay and despite yeah. what danny uh despite danny's taylor swift monologue here we are not doing a taylor swift centered episode <laughs> we are going to have our news and experiences we're going to talk about the new Kit Kat duos with the mocha chocolate we have uh squid and chili and combination squid chili chips that were um lays from around the world going to review yeah. So chili as in the pepper, not chili as yeah. in the, what do you yeah. call Chili, chili lays from Saudi Arabia, right? Grilled squid from China and hot chili squid from Thailand. It'll be fine. And we're going to end with peppermint M&Ms and kisses. So it'll be like brushing our teeth afterwards, basically. Well, we're yeah. going to need to. We're going to yeah. need to. So. Uh, Could you imagine what that's going to be like, though, having squid and mint all at the same time? Oh. I don't so, want to imagine that. There's so imagine, stick, like there's no wind there. Right, but bad mint. Yeah, stick around to the end. Is it going to be like orange juice and toothpaste? Oh. Or Coke and mint? Yuck. Yeah. Hmm. Coca-Cola pop, not um, other Coke. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you for yeah. clarifying. <laughs> I'm sure people were confused. <laughs> so what's going on in the news? So in the news, we have a couple things. One is KFC is making a Christmas movie with Hall with is Hallmark or Lifetime. Lifetime, right? It's Lifetime. Lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a recipe for seduction, 
which is as typical romance movie that's a kind of a thriller as well kind of dark at times starring mario lopez as colonel sanders did you watch it or is it out now? i don't think it's out yet maybe today whatever day this maybe is. It, when it, it drops it, was... but it, it looks i mean it's a mini movie which i didn't check but i assume that means it's just it's shorter it's maybe an hour long i mean though. However long it is, at yeah. some level, it's going to be both too much does it and not enough. Take the colonel to find love, and does he use the KFC scented Duraflame log to lure people in? <laughs> but but here's the thing: it's not just a romance. Like if it were romance, I would be like, okay, that's unique. But it's like you'd be like, oh, that's finger licking good. Oh, I, no. And I'm just I'm scared of where oh, they're no. going to throw that reference in. No. Right. I, I mean, I was I thought maybe they'd save it for the reviews. I mean, but I don't know. But that's probably if it was yeah. on a different channel. Yeah. But no, like it's like a love triangle, which again I could go with that. But it's like dark, where the colonel is getting tied up by the villain in the movie, and like that doesn't sound and, dark. Like yeah, like that's not the romance part. That's the thriller part. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> yeah. oh no, that's not a good time. <laughs> I mean, and apparently I was not aware of this, but apparently the colonel has been kind of a meme lately. They're really marketing him in like uh, uh, computer sim games and like apps and. So, like, the colonel is expanding. So, good for him. Yeah. I, I do mean, miss... You know. Has the colonel always been sexy? Is that is that the thing? I I'm, I'm, haven't been... I mean, it depends on your daddy issues. I suppose. Or how much you like fried chicken. Or those 12, and 12 herbs and spices. Like yeah, how herbs. spicy do you like it? Right? <laughs> but do you like anyone... it crispy? Do you like it extra crispy, Ryan? Uh, you know, I do. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Yeah. Yeah, all about that skin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, if anyone has not looked at the trailer, please go to YouTube, search for Recipe for Seduction, and you'll find the trailer for it. It's amazingly bad. It looks intentionally bad, like uh, like Sharknado movies are intentionally bad. And like, it wait, makes me wait, mad. that wasn't intentionally bad? It, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it, it makes me really mad, but also... I kind of want to watch. Is that bad? Okay. Is that... Well, in you know other what? news... I, I would say it's not that it's bad, Brian. It's what we would expect of you. Yeah, okay. You're not going to yeah. watch, Danny? You're, you don't want to watch at all? Um... We know Amy's was, watching. Let's just say yeah, that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, she's got. A, <laughs> if you've ever been to Amy's place, she has one TV that just stays on Lifetime movies all the time. <laughs> and then the other one rotates. But... No, no. It's Golden Girls. I watch Golden, Golden Girls all the time. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's on the other Blanche, side. Blanche, Blanche probably has a story about the Colonel. <laughs> too spicy, too spicy. <laughs> Let's go on to other news. Yep, other news which uh, has been posted in our Facebook group as well as like everywhere, everywhere, is, everywhere is the um, Brookio. Yeah, a new Oreo, which it's been a minute since we've had a new Oreo. And I'm sure you all have some uh, thoughts and opinions on this guy. Yeah. So well, we need to explain what it is first. Yeah, so a, do that. a brookie is a brownie slash chocolate chip cookie combo, but it's more of a brownie. But it has it's like, like a, the, a cookie placed into a brownie and they're baked the, together. It's the El Camino of cookies. Uh, it, or a mullet. Cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a Brookio Oreo, which, okay, you couldn't take my suggestion and call them Smorios, but you're calling them Brookios. Fine, not mad. But totally it's mad. unique that it has three layers of cream. The classic, fudge, and then chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah. I, I have a lot of feelings. I feel like I should have seen this coming, but... This also, right, because they've been setting us up for this. Um, I, I've been thinking that this has been weighing on me. You know, like 2020 has been a long year for people. And like, this is everything coming to a culmination where when I think about Oreos, right, and especially knockoffs, they're cookies and cream, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it's cookies and cream. They have been testing us and they're doing it now. And now we're now at this point where we're, they've been gently leading us up to the edge of a cliff. And we're about to jump off of it and see if we fly. Because there's the question of how much cream is too much cream, right? Which they sort of addressed with the, the most stuff, right? Because that was upsetting the balance of cookies and cream. And then they uh, 
came up with this idea of three layers of cream, which they did in those red, white, and blue ones, but they just made them just play with colors. Now they're doing that with flavors, right? So we're on this edge of three flavors of cream. And since they don't want to upset the balance of cookies and cream, they're doing it with cookies first. So it's still cookies and cream. But it just makes me wonder what's next. And this is either going to be the beginning of a bold new era mm -hmm. or Oreos jumping the shark. I mean, it's almost like how we have made our own Royal Blizzards, though, where right. it's something new. They're taking three types of cream that have existed in the past, and they're just right. making them. I can't fault them for that. Yeah, no, but I'm saying it's like, like this is okay, but I can see now, like, because this is still all in cookies and cream and things we've done before, but what's next? Because... The training wheels are still on. Like I said, they, they did like all, like just a ton of cream. It was just like the old school white cream. Then they just changed its colors. Now they're bringing back other flavors. And, um, but next, they could go crazy with this. Well, I mean, it really makes me wonder when they're combining their creams, are they going to come out with a peanut butter brownie next? I mean, I, I think that could be good. Right. But at that point, like, are we so far from Oreos that we've forgotten the whole, like, the cookie on the outside? If they do a three-layer cream with golden Oreos, that's not even, like, that's Horeo making their own Horeos. Because they're going to stop tasting like Oreos. Mm, you could argue, though, a lot of the limited edition Oreos don't really taste like an Oreo, though. It's, but it's they have the soul flavor. of an Oreo. But at this point, if you have so much cream... It's going to just be like a flavored cream mess. I don't I'm just scared, that. okay, Brian? I'm just scared. No, I'm here to I, hold you. It's fine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I trust them, but I'm nervous because these powers in the wrong hands could ruin Oreos forever. Yeah, they could really like, go overboard and just release, you know, a whole bunch of zombie Oreos. That, like, what if they did, like, if they went to, like, if you remember, like, those Fruity Pebbles ones? The mystery ones. Like, what if they're like, oh, you know what we could do is a like golden Oreo and three different kinds of fruit. Or like, Ooh, or like, that might we, be good. <laughs> that might be good, but it might not be, right? Like, what if they're like, oh, we're going to do the golden Oreo and lemon and cherry and grape and call it fruit. Like, Just don't bring back the uh, cherry cola, whatever horrible oh, thing. That, they don't need to do that ever again. Never I'm put just, that in the cream. So hold on tight. This could be okay. Now wait. Uh, just a footnote on the uh, sexy Colonel movie. Now I don't know if Corey is joking, but he's telling us it's only fifteen minutes long, which is I hope that's true because the trailer is like three minutes. So I just watched one fifth of the movie. If that's true, I mean, <laughs> realistically, um, that's what you're gonna get. I mean, if you're shacking up with Mario Lopez as the the colonel, you're probably only getting 15 minutes of joy out of that. I mean, I thought the colonel could last more than 15 minutes, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and in the chat, they're, they're having some ideas, right? That My dad brought up the sushi Oreos. We already had the wasabi Oreos. So you could do that, right? Hey, wasabi. Do... Yeah, if you, you could do that, though, right? Just have like two layers and then the wasabi in the middle. Like the three layers, it's terrifying. Yeah. I mean, honestly, my bigger concern for Oreos is what we talked about last week with the Lady Gaga Oreos, which are just different colored creams, mm -hmm. basically. I mean, I, I feel like they're going to get lazy and just come out with different colored cream Oreos and say, this is a new Oreo. or this well, That is was the red, white and blue thing. ones. Right. Yeah, that too. Or like the Halloween ones where it's just, you know, the cream is different colored. Yeah. I, you know what I'm scared of? I'm scared that we're going to run out of Oreo things to talk about and we're going to have to get to the Kit Kats and then the hot chili squid. Well, we have experiences first. We do. Oh, thank God. Thank you. That's why you're the host. Save me. Have, and we should move <sighs> on to those experiences. Yes, let's. Okay, so I got to say this first because I said I would last week. I had the first McRib of my life. Hey, and guess you're what? Still here. And um, I ate it. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, I. Did you have the second McRib shortly thereafter? No, mm. I did. <laughs> you, you had two, Amy. Uh, no, I had one, oh. but I, uh, I thought I'd join you in this adventure because I wasn't sure if I'd had it or not. 
You know, I don't remember the last time it was even available in our neck of the woods here. It's been a while. Uh, but first of all, I did not get it with onions or pickles because that would ruin the whole experience. So I just got this off. I feel like when you get a McRib, it's already ruined. And there's way too many onions on it. I'll just say that. I had to take most of them off. Yep. So, so what did you think of it? No one's told us okay. if they liked it. It was fine. It, it, it was definitely something that I was like, okay, this is the best fast food rib sandwich I've ever had. Take How many other sandwiches. fast food rib sandwiches have you had, Brian? Yep, exactly. Was that that's the only one you've ever had? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, so I guess okay. it also was the worst, but right. <laughs> but also the best. It kind uh, of it good... tastes like generic meat. I don't know that it specifically yeah. tastes like pork. The, is it going to be the, the last the, 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 the sauce rib you ever good. had? Would you order it again? I would order it again. It is something where like maybe once a year it's it would be fine. Once it comes back again. Like I would be okay with that, but I, I just don't get why people get so excited. Well, the chat is saying it's because you passed on the onions and the pickles. Oh no, that that. Mm -mm. Now the one thing that um, I don't think Easy Life is in the chat this morning, but he he loves the McRib, loves it. He has mm -hmm. driven six hours for a McRib. He did that last year, okay. <laughs> and he adds bacon to it. Now I think that sounds like that could really really change it up and and be yeah. delightful. When I ordered it on the app, because I, I just wanted to order it and have them bring it out to me and not have to wait, you know, in the drive through that was not an option. So I was like, eh, I'll just skip that part. But I will say this, the sauce, the barbecue sauce was, was actually yeah. pretty decent. The meat, I yeah, guess, you, yeah, I was eating it and I kind of had the thought of, I'm not sure this is meat. I mean that's a, that. I mean that's just on brand for McDonald's. Like, yeah, that someone else said that too. They're like, that's kind of everything with McDonald's. I was well, like, look, that's what I said it, it was like generic meat, whereas the burgers do taste like burger e, even if you know they taste like beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, it, it tastes um, like beef. This, 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 I don't know. I mean, it didn't taste like beef, but I can't say it was like ooh pork. So, um, but I mean, so, it's okay. It, it's not how I re when I thought I had it way back when I was a little kid. Um, I remembered it, so I maybe didn't have it being in a round bun in just more of a square shape, uh, fake ribs, and this was on the longer bun, so I, I maybe never had it. <laughs> this is what I, I want to know about it, right? From what you're saying, and uh, our, our buddy Trev in our group, he, uh, he's br been bringing us the uh, fast food hacks lately. Do you think you could take that McRib sauce and apply it to other things? Like, enjoy the McRib by re removing the rib. And, like, because I love, like, a good uh, Western burger. Like, if you get the burger with, like, bacon and barbecue sauce. Like, what if you chicken? took, like, yeah, if you took, like, a chicken sandwich or, like, a burger and you added bacon and McRib sauce? Like, is really the McRib sauce the draw, not the actual rib? Yeah, I think the sauce is the star attraction on it for me. So that should be our challenge, is try to get the McRib sauce on something that is not the McRib. Yeah, I, I definitely think um, Love Travels uh, in our chat is saying pork byproducts. I definitely agree with that. The aftertaste stayed with me for a long time, too. I had it for yeah. lunch, and it was still with me, you know, close to bedtime. Having mine with the pickle and onions, that maybe helped that. I didn't have oh, any aftertaste. I mean, Which... I took most of those onions off for, for those that were in the chat. And if you're just listening, you have to look. Well, I can post a picture, too. I had a ton it's... of onions on mine. And I like pickles. And for the people that like pickles, that always goes with barbecue. So I didn't have much Do you of think aftertaste. you're more likely to get um, the McRib sauce or an apple pie stirred into a McFlurry? Like, what, which would they mean? be more willing to do? Because they've always refused to make the apple pie McFlurry. Well, the, the McRib sauce with what? No, into a, a burger McFlurry. or chicken sandwich. No, like, no, if you said, like, I want a McFlurry, but, like, if you said, can I get a McFlurry and add apple pie? They'd say no. But if you said, can I get a McFlurry and can you just, like, add a shot of the, the McRib sauce, do you think that they would do it? I'm not saying would it be good. What? Like, I want to see if they're against other, other products or if they're um, against apple pie. I think that they would probably say, go home, you are not well. Um, and they would give you service. Yeah. I... <laughs> In the chat, there's a question of whether we've had the Burger King Impossible Burger. Um, I've had the White Castle Impossible Burger, which is delightful. Uh, it tastes beefier than the actual White Castle. I know a lot, uh, not just Burger King, a lot of places, if they have an Impossible Burger, 
reviews across the board are usually pretty favorable with how they yeah. take. I do know someone who went to a restaurant once and got an impossible burger and added bacon to it. And that was also good, but I was like, <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose. It doesn't seem possible, yeah. but then okay. again, it was impossible. It, it made it a possible. I have not had the Burger King impossible burger, but my friends who have, have really liked it. I went to Dairy Queen this week. <gasps> What'd you get? I'm shocked. Um, one, I had the peppermint hot cocoa blizzard, mm -hmm. which is beautiful, by the way. It really? comes with a little, yeah, because they put like the whipped cream on top and then like the little uh, um, candy cane crumbles on mm -hmm. it. It doesn't taste that great. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, it looks fine. But it's, okay. it looks beautiful. <laughs> but, but I also did something that we haven't done. So I got my traditional chicken strip basket. Um, and I got it with, they've been advertising, they have their new house-made uh, ranch dressing. Because they're apparently just mixing the, the mix in the in the stores. So I got it with their ranch. Um, and it made me wonder, like, why? What's the point of ranch dressing? Like, You're asking the wrong person here. Ranch yeah. is great for dipping all kinds of things in. No, like, no, I put my yes. chicken strips in it and it was like, you know, when it's like, you know, ruin a movie title with one word, like you ruin a chicken strip with one dip ranch. Um, but it got me thinking and it was interesting because then in our um, Facebook page, our friend Fred, or actually no, it was on, on somewhere else, but he tagged us uh, on Facebook. Our friend Fred was asking about hummus and whether it's a condiment, a dip, a spread, a topping or a sauce. And I feel like ranch is the same way. Like ranch is a dressing that occasionally moonlights as a dip or a spread or one of these other things. Yeah, with uh, ranch, it all depends how thick you make it. If it's super thick, it's a dip mm -hmm. or yeah. potentially a spread. I, I, If I have it on my salad as the only salad eater in this group, I don't like it so thick. That's why I like the homemade. Yeah, but that's, no, like it should be none of those things. And, and for hummus, <laughs> I feel like the same way. Like I enjoy hummus as a dip. Right, you have a little pita or a carrot and hummus. That's fine. Yeah. If I have a sandwich and there's hummus in it, I'm like, why did you mess up my sandwich with hummus? Now, here's the thing that people were commenting on that post about the hummus. They were questioning if it was really a dip because if you dip your celery or whatever in it, a true dip, and you pull it out, it comes out clean, or are you scooping it? But I will say it sticks to pita or pita chips if you dip it and not scoop it. So I still say it's a dip. I will say this. Here's my question. Um, hummus is, you know, hummus is hummus. But if we're playing condiment, dip, spread, topping, and sauce, Duncan Hines cake frosting, which is that? Then you get the little can of frosting. Well, it's not a is sauce. That... I'm going to give you that because it's too thick. But it could be spread on anything. Is that it could be a dip. Meal? I thought it was well, a yeah, right. It's a meal. Like, like, <laughs> like, if, like if you meal. think if you I've think hummus is a shape shifter, <laughs> right? Like. People are like, oh, hummus, that's a shapeshifter. Hummus is just kind of there as supporting member of everything. Frosting. Frosting is all of those things. When you're not even done well, like, it's just really more about, like, where you are as an emotional being. Right? <laughs> you take I'm your like, nut or butter cookie and dunk it into yeah. a can of the chocolate frosting. Right. Like, is, is frosting a dip? Like, it depends on the day, right? Like, yeah. is it a spread? Like, I guess on a cake. Uh, you know, like yeah, like how what stressed is it? am I? That's the, gonna be right. Yeah. Like, like if you wanna, like if you wanted to measure your stress level, <laughs> I think you would make a meter of like condiment, spread, dip, all the way up to full on meal, and it would say what is your frosting today, and you could equate that to your anxiety level. Now, Brian, would frosting be a dressing on your sugar salad? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like. Fred, I know you're interested in hummus, but I think it's a far more interesting and insightful <laughs> question you're asking about frosting. <laughs> I mean, frosting, you could even microwave on its own and let it melt a little bit and, like, drink it. Uh, oh, right? You know, it's a it's beverage. Turn right. it into hot cocoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, if you consider whipped cream in that family, right, or a buttercream, like... Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for asking, Fred. <laughs> yeah. I have another experience that Danny is going to disappoint you. Um, um, you always and, disappoint me. And, and, oh, I know, but especially. I'm going to send you both a picture right now of a pizza oh, no. that I had this week. And it is a, um, it's made with fresh mozzarella, basil, 
and uh, Parmesan uh, uh, crusted or toasted Parmesan crust. There we go. But, yeah, I see it. And it was very yes. good. Like it looks good, right? Yeah. You're it gonna was... tell me it's from Domino's. I'm waiting for no, it. No, no, oh no, 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 not Domino's, not Domino's. This is a uh, a very amazing pizza from Little Caesars. I was close. I of all places, I was actually that. shocked. Yeah, it. I grew a... up in the home of Little Caesars. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's. I... Um, I'm having trouble showing it on my screen, but Amy got it. I mean, you would not think that Little Caesars would make any like decent pizza, but this is maybe one of the best pizzas they have come out with. It looks really good. I could disappoint you too. Remember, I started my Canadian bacon project yes. mm -hmm. with my like seven pounds of pork. So I have my Canadian bacon. Last night, I was actually going to make some homemade pizza, but I decided to do calzone instead. Um, but um, I did my calzone with uh, pineapple and Canadian bacon, and I would have done you that as rail pizza. against that so much, Danny. I don't know. There's two situations in which you can have multiple toppings on a pizza: sausage and onion, and uh, pineapple and Canadian bacon. Other than that, one topping, no, like just plain cheese or one topping. Oh, unless you're doing something super like bougie, and then all pets are off. Like that, at that point, it's not really pizza; it's a flatbread that you're calling pizza. Yeah, like uh, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, spinach and feta with alfredo sauce right yeah that's at that point it's not really pizza yeah but it's good i enjoy it yeah it's good i mean i, I don't know if that one well, was good but yes <laughs> i have a live experience i want to get to because it's going to be good before our bad i bought the santa shaped twix we've talked a lot about the different shape of peanut butter cups and how that affects the ratio of peanut mm -hmm. butter to chocolate yeah. what have you and we haven't really done these. And, and it's not that these are new, but I saw them and I thought I'd buy them and try them. Yeah, I wonder if they taste like Twix. Now, I'm going to tell you, they are kind of shaped like a Santa's head. And that looks back. like they took the rejects from the Twix eggs. Yep. Like, yeah, it looks like you took the egg. If you look that's at, what I was going to say. The, show us the front of that again, Amy. Yeah. That's like um, they just took the Twix eggs and they had like, a, like someone who maybe was like having a day. And they're like, do you see a face in there? And if they said yes, they put it in the Santa line. And if you look at it from the side, you can see it's etched and ridged and everything. Yeah. So they did make it. So I like to think of it as a subliminal Santa. They were like, oh, okay, I, you I think know, Santa like, you looks see that? Bad. Yeah. Because he's oh, about he to get eaten. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to try it. I mean, I would be sad, too, if you were about to eat my face. How much caramel, Amy? She got peanut butter. Is There's way too much butter? cookie. Caramel. Look how much cookie there is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had the Twix eggs? I think so. Well, now you have, but with a different shape. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's still chocolate, caramel, and a cookie. And well, I will eat them. yeah, and here's the thing. Even if there were more caramel, the caramel in a Twix is usually harder. So oh, I don't think it would be a good thing, whereas the peanut butter and Reese's, more is better. Do you know how I think Twix Depending would be good, Depending where Ryan? in the face you are, there is more caramel. Do you know how I think that would be better? I'm worried. Uh, factory direct, yes, I agree yes. with that one hundred percent. Direct from the factory, I feel like it would be really like good. Soft caramel, a Twix would yeah. be amazing. Oh, a freshy, oh. yeah. But like up by the, the hat, there is so much caramel. It's Station where it's caramel. I feel like Amy's delaying us having coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we have the new Kit Kat duos with the mocha. Now, I'm so are these considered the half coffee? Or are these considered like 25% coffee? Because mocha is coffee and chocolate. So this is technically coffee and chocolate and chocolate. Well, I think one layer is uh, chocolate and one is mocha. So, I mean, if you want to get I think it's one side. Thing. I thought it was. It really smells like coffee. Oh. Mm. All right, Amy. Come on. Big bite here. Oh, it does oh, not look, look like what I thought color. it would. This is like. Yeah, it's party on top and chocolate on the back. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. No. Hey, Hershey, you finally did a good Kit Kat. It's not, oh, there it is. I was about to say it's not as strong of a coffee as I, as I thought by the smell, but oh. <laughs> it's there. I can't laugh nice. anymore because my time is coming here. Well, um, all of our time is coming. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. 
You know, and I know Amy will disagree, but it's not too much coffee. No. If it's you like, like coffee, right, you'll it's, like it. It's not overpowering. It's a good mixture. You know what it tastes like to me? Um, this is a guilty pleasure that if you ask me in public if I enjoy this, I'm going to deny it. But like, you know, when you go to like the office cafeteria and they have like the, the coffee vending machine where for like 25 cents you can get like the, the French vanilla cappuccino mm-hmm. sugar abomination. This is that. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't really taste. It's it's not like what it says it is, but for like a sugary, sweet, uh, almost like my beloved double double. Yeah, it, it's very good. It does taste like that. I wish my office had one of those, but also I'm glad it doesn't. Yeah, don't drink too I mean, much of your water because we're up to chips. I, I have we already have chips. chips. We are. <laughs> So let's start with this. We have from Saudi Arabia, chili. From uh, uh, Amy has the bag from China, right? The uh, grilled. Oh, uh, that's Indi- that's Thailand. This one, which is grilled squid, which has a nice bit, and, and those are a la- wavy lays. That's a big old squid on it, and then from Thailand, the hot chili squid. So we could do chili and then squid and then chili and squid. I was gonna let. Or do you want to do squid and then chili? chili. I want to end with chili. That should be the least offensive. So you want to deconstruct it? You want to start with hot chili, hot chili squid, and then see what happens when you have just squid and then just chili. I feel like I need to work up to that. Okay. So we'll do squid, then hot chili, squid, then chili. Sure. (laughs) If that's what you want to do. Oh, okay. Start with wavy lays. These, I will say are the worst smelling things I have ever had. Like, we've had durian, and I want to say that durian smells better than these. Uh, I'm going to disagree with that, but it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell as bad as durian, but no. It smells like a locker room. It smells like a fishy locker room, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, Amy can't even look at it. Oh. Maybe if I like seafood, these would be okay. Did I say that's not as bad as I expected? Yeah. Oh, it, it wasn't as bad as I expected, and then it got fishy in my mouth. I'm going to say somebody in the chat talked about people liking squid. I like squid. I like calamari. I like real squid. A lot of squid flavor on... Oh, this one sticks good. with you. This one gets aromatic in your mouth as it's... Yeah, I only home. need to taste that once. But here, I'm that to is a... in my mouth. That is an experience right there. Okay, let's before I move on, I'm gonna need some water here. And I'm gonna that was that yeah. I mean, sometimes I will even if the terrible ones go back. I'm gonna just seal that up. I mean, I'm kind of hoping with the chili chips here that the that they're spicy, so it burns that squid right out of my mouth. Well, if we're gonna are we going to chili or are we going to uh chili squid? Chili. Brian okay. wants to go to chili. Okay. So now we're gonna go to from China, we're going to go to Saudi Arabia. We're ditching the, the wavy lays, just going to original lays. These are just chili, so it's just a hot pepper. Okay, yeah, I taste the pepper. I'm not getting hot yet. Actually, these aren't bad. They got a little kick. A little kick. Good. I have no kick. Is it going to just sneak up on me here? Just let it no, sit on your tongue. Just, yeah. They're very lightly seasoned. You can see there's just a little bit of red powder on them. Just a little bit of heat. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like... Oh, yeah, okay, there's the spice. But it's, it's very faint. It tastes more like a pepper than anything, though, which, yeah. you know, I don't really like the flavor of just, like, pepper flavor, and, like, not even spicy, mm-hmm. just pepper. Yeah. I do like... Yeah, it is. It does taste like the pepper, like a chili pepper versus, like, the flaming hot, which is just like hot without context. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did grab one that was more red, and that one's pretty spicy. It, it's like uh, even though it's got a red pepper on the front, it's more like a jalapeno taste, where you can taste the pepper and the heat. Yeah, okay, I think it's it, a red jalapeno. On <clears> it. It's uh, it's it's catching up to me here too. <laughs> that's actually as you know what as I'm not a huge fan of spicy chips, but that's one of the better ones. I would go to Saudi Arabia for that. But Look I what Brian would... saved for the last one of the chips. So, celebrating 25 years of Lay's in Thailand, the hot chili Okay. Squid. Oh, don't smell worse than the regular squid. These are burning my eyes when I smell them. Oh, it's 25th anniversary. Yeah. 
If you look, everybody's partying on the front of the bag. They're celebrating this. I am not on that bag. No. All right. Let's do it. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, that was awful. It's like dirt. Ooh. Oh, it's like that has a, a much more distinct, like, Thai chili thing going on. It's not as gross as I thought it would be. Same. Oh, that's terrible. I could. It's like well, you fish and cooked it in dirt. Oh, Amy, you like you ready them? to play FMK? Oh no, I don't like them, but I didn't find them horrible either. Okay, yeah, I, I'm. I'll, I'll, I'll play. I accept the challenge. <laughs> I'm ready to play FMK. Go for it, Brian. I, I, well, I, I guzzle water. If, if you or Amy are ready, go for it. I'm ready. Are I'm you ready. ready, Amy? Okay, you go, Amy. Okay. Well, this is easy for me, actually. I'm going to marry I'm gonna the regular chili. I'm going to have a Kit Kat while you do that. Okay. I'm going to marry the regular chili. I just like them. They're, I think it's a good chip. It has a little bit of heat. I like peppers. It's good. <clears throat> The next two are more difficult, but I did figure out I am going to frolic with the hot chili squid. Because even though I find the aroma stronger, the taste for me wasn't as bad. And plus, it's a party. See, look at the bag. It's a party. And it's short term, and then you're done. So I'm going to kill the grilled squid because that just wasn't good. It, it doesn't need to be in my kitchen in my house anywhere you're not you're not let, that that got into your kitchen once and it's never coming back exactly exactly if we go so, back to ever nobody no crime yeah ever more shout out <laughs> yep happy yep. birthday taylor love the album so that's it short and sweet for me and i'm gonna eat some more of the chili chips now okay so do you need was, more time I'm good. I'm, I'm ready. Um, okay, you go. Yeah. okay, so the one, the party, that's the hot chili squid, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. Okay. So I'm going to frolic with the chili because it was just a little spicy. It wasn't a great time, but, you know, there were moments of like, ooh, this is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling something. Like I'm getting yeah. something out of this. So like we'll have a, a frolic. Like it's not going to be anything mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. you know, one and done. You know, don't call me. Yeah. I'll call you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I am going to kill the grilled squid because everything about this was just terrible. The smell was awful. The taste, uh, like, I don't even know if people who like squid would like these. I, maybe, I agree with that. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know um, if they would. Um, so that means I'm going to marry the hot chili squid uh, because a lot of people were celebrating and partying. So maybe I would be popular if I married that and, you know. I wouldn't have a happy marriage, but you know, I'd be popular. You know That's what, important. Brian? Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to marry that one. Uh, you know what it is? It's a little exotic. People are like, I think it's when people are like, you you got you married the hot chili squid? And I'd be like, Yeah, I did. And I'm like, I wonder what's that what that's like. I'm like, I know every day. Right? It's the reason all the, everyone is lined up for it. Well, and, and I know it's not as bad as you would think, right? Yeah, like it's tolerable. Like it's not. Plain, yeah, but... like like at first, my first reaction, it was like like you. I read its online profile, and I was like, no. But I kind of like wanted to go out with it just out of morbid curiosity. And then I got to know it, and I was like, oh, you're not at all what I thought you would be. I still don't like you, but you're not as bad, right? And you know, I'm enough of a sadist that I, that's fine. And uh, I'll torture myself. Maybe masochist, you know, whatever. I'm messed up enough that I'm like, I'm in, I'm down. Uh, which is why I'm also going to frolic with the squid. Like, if I want to torture myself, I'm going to really torture myself. And torture uh, the squid. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's going to be, I don't know. Like, I had to have that. Like, that was the one. Like, when I saw that in the store, like, I saw, like, Amy hold up the bag for a second. That was your recipe for seduction. 
Yeah, I was, no, the squid, the grilled squid. Sorry. As I said in the chat, I was distracted by Studio Cat. (laughs) Yeah, I, um, when you look at this bag with that, like, giant grilled squid on that, I had to try it. Like, I was like, we are in. We are doing this. I need to know what these wavy lays are like. So that's a frolic right there. Um, Looks like the squid wrapped in something. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. It's like, it's alluring. I had to try it, and that's a frolic. Um, and so I'm killing the chili. I actually, I kind of liked it, right? But it was it was fine. It wasn't like it was just whatever. I didn't have as strong of a reaction. Yeah, exactly. That's it. It, it doesn't it's, cause enough of a visceral reaction to elicit love, right? Or even like elicit like, yeah, give me some of that. You know, it's just like, ah, oh, you know what? You could go. Uh, be dead in the ditch. That's fine. Nobody's going to miss you. Like, you were fine. Like, I mean, like, your family will. But it's not going to be front page news. I mean, they will miss, but it's not going to be like the holidays are ruined. <laughs> no, I mean, like, there's plenty of others. Yeah. Like, that's why you have a lot of different flavors of chips is when one goes away. Ah, there's more. So... That's my hot take. Amazingly, on those, I would have thought we would have all agreed. We all disagreed. I mean, there were no real winners in that one, so I think that... Uh, no, the winners are the people that like to watch us suffer. Yeah, that's true. The viewers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who, who now want to send us... Um, uh, Chicharron... Chicharron Bulaca? Bulak. Yes. Bulaca. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that like... It can't be as bad as Baloo, which is like a, the fermented egg... With the fetus. Okay. I'm scared about that. All right. But we're that note, we some, have peppermint stuff. Yeah, some seasonal treats from Hershey. M&M's and Hershey. Last week we did the sugar cookies. Apparently they've all um, aligned on flavors. Last week they did sugar cookie, right? We had the sugar cookie M&M and the sugar cookie Hershey Kiss. This week it's candy cane or peppermint. So what are we starting with? Uh, Everyone's stunned. Yeah, let's go with the kisses. Okay. okay. Candy cane kisses. How cute. Because I'm a little worried with the uh, sugar cookie last week. It was a little too much like white chocolate flavor, and I think this is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be you know, a plain mint, but in wax form. It's got the hug stripes, but it's got little dots in mm-hmm. it too. Oh yeah, it does have. Okay. Yeah, they're a little, um, I don't want to say crunchy, mm-hmm. but the dots have texture. I do like that they're striped. That's fine. I mean, it's just white chocolate with mint. You know? yeah. I mean, if you're into candy cane flavored candies, this is that. Like peppermint bark. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking it's just like a peppermint bark. Mm-hmm. Um, All right, so the M&M's, I think this is going to be very similar just with the shell. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's white hmm. chocolate in there. I can't tell if I'm getting much mint, though. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not as minty. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to see here. These are basically twins. They are fraternal twins, but they're twins. Identical cousins. Identical cousins, and you'll find uh, that I don't really like them that much. But we'll, we'll determine here which one is the evil twin out of the two. So if you were going to pick one, which one should you avoid? And before you do that, the interior of the M&M is all white. Yeah, yeah it's white chocolate. I know, but mm-hmm. like the other stuff, they'll put red flex or something in it. No. Okay, so this is my thought. The M&Ms are less minty. So for someone looking for a peppermint or a candy cane snack, I would say that M&Ms are the evil twin. Hmm. But I that would be agree. what I want to go with. Not that I want to eat white chocolate as a snack, but... So you think the good twin is the Hershey Kiss? In terms of what they're trying to sell, yes. Yep. I actually agree. If, if you're a peppermint fan, the Kiss is going to be better. Even you're though wrong. there's the white chocolate with it, both it's definitely mintier. You're both On wrong. a personal level, I would go for the M&M's because I like the shell, giving it a little more texture. 
But, yeah. you know, I got to think of the people here. I don't think of the people. I think of myself. <laughs> we know. That is why uh, <laughs> the kisses are the evil twin. Um, I remember when I was a child, uh, there was a Chinese restaurant we would go to. You know, they have like those butter mints, like the, mm-hmm. those mint candies that um, like melt in your mouth. And they would just put out the big bowl of them and people would put their hands in there. And so then you would eat them and you would not only get mint, but you would get whatever was on their hands. Uh, so it was really a good way to get sick. But um, these remind me a lot of those, of like those mint candies that I could just snack on forever. They're very snackable. If you like the snacking on mint candy, a bowl of these M&Ms, and it's going to be gone. So I can't say that that's evil. I mean, it is, but it's a good evil. It hurts so good. I'm sorry. Whereas I candy, just... Go ahead. <laughs> candy cane M&Ms, like, or try to say candy cane Hershey Kisses, I really don't have a use for them. Yeah, I mean, if they should call them dinner mint M and M's. That would be the perfect description. Oh, yes. yeah. And like, they should stick around for that, and it's delicious. And I'm, I'm in on. I am in. I'm all in for dinner mint M and M. So they are the good twin. All right. So yeah, you have enough information there. We have given our personal and professional opinions, <laughs> and you can make your own uh, judgment there with that information of. If you're wait, going to wait. Buy, avoid both that, of them. That was your professional opinion. You're getting paid for this? Mm-hmm. You're not. Oh, Amy, sorry. I let that slip. Uh, uh, you... Oh, well. Oh. Thanks um, for listening, everybody. So wait, <laughs> circling back to the chips, I, I was laughing and almost interrupted Danny. Studio Cat came by, and I still had like part of one of the squid chips, the, the grilled squid. Even Studio Cat didn't want it. And Studio Cat has it and looked at me thing. like, what? Yeah, Studio Cat was like, ooh, a foil bag. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so anyway, on that note. On that note. Thanks for listening. And have a great thanks week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yay. Thank YouTube. you, YouTube. Thank you for yes, being here. Yes, thank you so us. much, YouTube chatters. Oh, all right. Uh, um, we have not had Baloo. Yeah. I'm aware of Baloo. Yeah, I know what it is. I don't want to. Well. We have not tried that. I'm scared, but if you want to uh, contact, you know, if you want to send me a message or. You know, send us an email. Yeah. Uh, please Text us 402 so. Young Food. Ooh. But yeah, that's that scares me. The smell. I forgot good. to shout out to Mark in Spencer, New York. Or as I call it, Wegman's Country. He texted <laughs> us. <with me. laughs> Asking about the Kit Kats, uh, which we were, he did ask which us we uh, had on this. Yeah. This is a note to self. I actually received a request. There's a local place that has different flavors of ice cream that I'm going to have to try and find for an experience as well here. So mm-hmm. just throwing that out there because I keep forgetting. <laughs> well, remember, Ryan. I'll try. I'll try. Baloo tastes, tastes like chicken soup. I feel like everything nasty. Always, they tell you it tastes like. Well, chicken. I could see Balut tasting chicken. like chicken soup. I mean, it is yeah. a bird. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Know I mean, we do. The, I don't know should about I, the own bukkake though, or whatever she's. Should I uh, show <laughs> them the the one chip that we have for a future episode? Oh yeah, yeah. Because this might be next week. I don't know. Related, related. Uh, we don't have Baloo, but from China, see the this nice duck face. This is the spicy duck neck lays from from uh, China. So, and they actually uh, have the duck bill on the top. So, Danny, yeah. top and so here. with the face. And then we're going to chow down right here. Oof. So that's coming soon. Yeah. It's, thinking about that, though, duck neck in general might not be that odd. I My grandma always loved the chicken no. neck, and my dad loves turkey <laughs> neck. I mean, I think it's going to taste a lot like a, a, a spicy roast duck. Just they chose to say it's the neck flavor. I mean, I right. think it's anything. part of a tie-in actually with a Chinese oh, brand yeah. of duck neck snacks. And Brian's reacting to what's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, fetuses! Did you not know yeah, what Baloo is, Brian? Yeah, that's what Baloo is. Is yeah. Yeah. They they take the egg before it hatches or something. So. <sighs> Good times. I think that's our show this week. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks for right. watching, everybody. Thanks for yeah. hanging out with us. Yeah. Uh, we love all of you. Yep, and we'll see you next week. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.